Private capital flows around the world fell sharply in 2008, and World Bank economists predict they will tighten even more this year, down from a peak two years ago of 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars to only 363 billion this year. Capital keeps the world's economies moving. A drop in capital and in economic growth means fewer jobs, declines in trade, and cuts to the financial and social help governments provide to the neediest. And this squeeze is likely to be felt for some time, especially in developing countries. The scenario moving forward for the next couple of years is that growth is going to be a subdued level, investments in many productive sector, and possibly even in social sectors, as government contract those expenditure, which was very critical for social needs, you're going to see an increase in the overall poverty in many of these countries. The World Bank predicts global growth will actually be negative in 2009, with developing countries hit hardest. East Asia and the Pacific hurt because of trade links with developed countries. Europe and Central Asia, which entered the crisis with some economic instability, expected to start recovering very slowly in 2010. Sub-Saharan Africa rocked by falling export prices, a drop in international aid, and a decline in remittances, which is the money sent home by economic migrants who now have fewer job options abroad. But economists warn that government support can only go so far in buttressing the global financial system. Private capital and private enterprise must ultimately drive investment and create jobs, which will in turn ignite demand for goods and services. We're still left with a lot of problems with high unemployment rates uh, persisting, with capacity utilization, how much plant and how much equipment is being used at very low levels, uh, and with fiscal deficits left over from the stimulus plans put in place by government. So this all means that we're going to have these problems with us for several years to come, even once we get out of the, the trough of this uh, uh, recession. The authors of the World Bank study note that many big economies' quick response to the crisis has prevented systemic collapse. But they caution that a new world with more sluggish growth demands leaders keep a tight watch on the global financial system in the years to come so that a relapse into crisis can be avoided.